Greetings, unsettled souls, and welcome to The Correct Views. It's going to be a really short one tonight. Why? Oh, somebody's got a dummy for a son. Really? Who? Well, this month it would be the Department of Education. I want to thank Mike McLaughlin, who picked the winner. He gets his favorite charity promoted for a month, and since he already has the CD, we're going to upgrade him. He's getting the Autograph Passing Time DVD. Uh, Mike, I need your favorite. Uh, I need your favorite charity to promote. Friends, for those of you that don't know, we only do it once a year. It is the Dunce Cap of the Year Award. And the, yeah, yes, yes, the Dunce Cap of the Year is picked by you, our, our listeners. You guys pick. My low def here, my high def here. Welcome aboard. Um, you guys pick based on your votes. And your votes have given it to the Department of Education. To catch you up and you can find the whole show, type in the correct views, uh, DOE, um, which I know can also be Department of Energy. Yeah already typed it. Department of Education, go look at the dunce cap video. If you just type that in, you'll come right up. Well, they had the most complicated way to teach Common Core ever. Christelle, did it make any sense at all to you? Absolutely not. She wasn't cross-eyed before she read this. I haven't been able to get it fixed. It was like eight months ago. Well, we mailed them a dunce cap, like we've done to the FBI, like we've done to John Kerry. What? Did Sam send a dunce cap to the FBI? Yes, I did. You know what? They took it. The Department of Education decided to send theirs back to me, so they're not getting a return address this time. How uh, dare them send that hard work that I put into that dunce cap? How dare they send that back? See, there were other people that I thought were a little more deserving of the dunce cap of the year, but I don't pick this one. Uh, the viewers pick this one. I only send out a dunce cap to somebody once. The viewers get to pick somebody uh, once a year. But, Christelle, the hat, I guess it took a lot of work. Well, I don't know where it is. It's up here somewhere. I don't know where it is. We haven't, uh, we, we're not prepared to quote David Lake. But we love you, David. Uh, they sent the dunce cap back. So, because they weren't happy to accept the dunce cap, that they earned, I might add, that they rightfully earned by having the absolute worst way to teach math ever. Here it is. Here's the one they sent back. Since they didn't have the decency to accept this beautiful dunce cap that they earned. Now look at all that beautiful work, guys. We're going to go ahead and uh, make absolutely certain that they do get a dunce cap that they can't send back. And I'm telling the truth. No Pinocchios. All right, friends, dunce cap of the year. This certificate is to inform you all at the Department of Education that you have won the second annual dunce cap of the year. Here it is for everyone to see. It says, uh, Dunce Cap of the Year, award according to the votes that you earned from listeners of The Correct Views. That would be the show that you're now watching. The first award came from TCV, but this award is even more special, I wrote, because your idiocy has been noticed not just by us, but also by our many viewers, many of whom have school-aged children that are being dumbed down by your very standards. At first, you earned the dunce, dunce cap by destroying the way that math is taught to our children, thus making it even harder for them to learn an already tricky subject. You then, I go on, rather than accept the dunce cap that you earned via your own stupid ways, decided to mail back the dunce cap to the correct views. As such, when this fact was presented to our audience, and that would be you guys watching, they voted you to get this dunce cap of the year. That means that in the 12 months slash 12 stories of utter stupidity, you managed to rank the highest according to our viewers. Therefore, it has been decided to include no return address so that you will be able to enjoy the cap in all of the glory that you deserve. Common Core, Dunce Cap of the Year. Way to go, fools! And it's got the address, and it says that the, uh, clicking the link will present it. Christelle, would you like them to see everybody to see the hat that they now can't send back because we decided they don't get a return address? Well, yeah, because that takes a lot of work. The, see, this one's colored. You don't normally, and some of you are on low def, you can't tell. It's like a light green, which uh, you on high def are like, oh, I can see it clearly. Um, there's the dust. Looks like it was done by finger painting with children. This is great. Look at what this says. The old way. 
one to half or two plus two equals four. No, no, that's not going to work. You can't have that. No. What we got is add uh, two plus two. First, add 198 to each number. 200 plus 200 is 400. Then minus 300. Add s and then minus 300. 400 minus 300 is 100. Divide by 2. 100 divided by 2 is 50. Lastly, minus 46. Four, 50 minus 46 is 4. Correct. Uh, and this is great. It says uh, 4 divided by 8. Wrong. Uh, question mark and of course there's all kinds of common sense ways that you would normally write it here and they are all listed as wrong and then she she went to the well friends uh, I had mentioned if she wanted to work it in and she did the wall wrong do it again uh, Christelle that might be your best one that is the dunce cap of the year Congratulations, Mike McLaughlin. Uh, and again, I, I didn't know that a sponsor of the show was going to win. I would have just given him the DVD. Obviously, it's not rigged. He actually won fair and square. You don't rig a contest for a DVD. Friends, congratulations to Mike. Dunce cap of the year going to the Department of Education. Good night, friends. God bless.